Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create this matte automotive colour grading effect in Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is James and if it is the very first time to this channel and you want to learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related. Start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to create this matte automotive color grading effect in Photoshop. Now this is one of my favorite effects, especially when you want to apply it to any automotive or car photography. So today I thought I'd share it with you so you can create the same effect at home. So if you'd like to have a look at the pre-selected photo, the one that I'm going to be using in this tutorial, then go ahead to the link in the description. But without further ado guys, let's get started. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo. And today I've chosen this photo, which I got from unsplash.com. And again, guys, the link is in the description. And I must say, I really like this uh, photo. So well done to the photographer who took it. So what we're going to do today is three different effects. First effect we're going to do is to create a matte effect in the shadows, but we're going to create a high contrast look in the highlights. And what this will do is this will emphasize the kind of reflectiveness of the paintwork. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to desaturate the other tones apart from the color of the car. So in this particular instance, the color is red, but for instance, it could be blue, green, orange, or any other color. And today I'm going to show you how to create that effect of any color in the color spectrum. And then lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to create a vignette to really kind of emphasize the car in the foreground. So firstly, let's create the matte effect. So what we're gonna do is go down to our adjustment layers, icon in the bottom right hand corner and we're going to go ahead and select curves. Now curves adjustment layer is perfect for creating this effect as it's really customizable and we can add and subtract contrast and clarity in the highlights and shadows independently from each other. So what we're going to do first is we're going to work on the shadows to create the matte effect. So the shadows are found on the left hand side of the curves adjustment layer and what we want to do is to brighten them and the way we can do that is just raise up the shadows. So we're going to raise them up like so. And as you can see, this matte effect is starting to appear. But as you can see, it's affecting the entire image. So what we need to do is to drop down the midtones a little bit. So we can get the midtones here and we're going to lower them like so. Lovely. And what I'll probably do is just lower it like that. Lovely. But as you can see, overall, the color is still quite dark. What we're going to do is we're going to raise up the highlights a little bit. And this will keep the high contrast look in the highlights but it's going to create a matte effect in the shadows and this will make the paint look extra reflective and extra shiny lovely so we'll go for something that looks a little bit like that so as you can see we've created this s style curve which leads into the matte effect which works great for all types of vehicles lovely so once we've done that what we want to do now is to create a uh, kind of enhance the colors in the car's paintwork, but desaturate all other colors. So what we want to do first is desaturate the colors. So we're gonna to go to our adjustment layers icon and we're gonna to go to hue and saturation. And we're gonna ever so slightly reduce the saturation just by around 20%. So as you can see, it's affected the car. What we need to do now is bring up the colors in the car again. Now in this particular example, it's red, but I'll show you how to do it to all types of car colors. So what we're gonna do is go down to our adjustment layers icon and we're gonna to go to the very one right at the bottom which is called selective color. And we're gonna make sure that's right at the top. So the selective color is very similar to hue and saturation but it allows us to very definely tweak each color independently from each other. It's a lot more customizable than the hue and saturation layer. So as you can see, we've got our colors at the top and then we've got some color bands. Now the colors at the top is our color that we're changing and the colors in the uh, sliders here are the amount of colors found within that color. Now, obviously all color is made from red, green, and blue. So if you reduce and increase the amount of red in the blue, for instance, it would make it either more blue or less blue, depending on the color balance and the channel mixer. But today what we're going to do, reducing the amount of cyan and increasing the amount of yellow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cyan slider and move it all the way over to the left-hand side. And as you can see, it has brightened up the saturation of the red again. And we're gonna move over with the yellow and we're also going to do that as well. 
I'm going to probably do that for around 40%. So as you can see, if I do the before and after, it's really brought back the red again. This is simply by doing removing the amount of blue and cyan found in the red tones. And this is perfect. It's a bit like, for instance, balancing your colours in your photo. Right, so what we want to do now is simply create a vignette. And we can do this really easily by creating a gradient fill layer. So we're going to go to our adjustment layers icon and we're going to go all the way up to gradient fill, which is the second to the top. Lovely. So we've got this terrible green. So what we'll do is we'll go into our gradient selection here. This is our gradient editor. We just want to change it from a white to black. So we'll go ahead and choose our presets. And it's the third one here. As you can see, it's just a white and black one. Lovely. So what we need to do now is to create a kind of radial gradient. So it's kind of circular. So it's not this kind of linear gradient that we've got at the moment. So we can go to our style. We're going to click on linear and we're going to drop it down to the second one at the top, which is called radial. And this will turn it into a circle. So it kind of affect the corners of the image. So now, as you can see, the black is in the middle, but we want it around the edge. So what we can do is just simply click reverse. And again, that will just reverse the colors. So from black to white and white to black. Now we can go back into our gradient editor again and we can just move the colors around until you're happy with the amount of gradient that you can see in the vignette. So we'll go for something like so. And then all you'll need to do is just increase the size. So we can go to the scale here. At the moment it's 100%. We can just increase the size. So we'll go for something probably like so. So as you can see, we've got the uh, black around the edge, but we've got the white in the middle. So all you'll need to do now is just simply change the blending mode of this layer to multiply. So what we need to do is go to our blending mode options and go to multiply. And multiply removes all of the white but keeps the black tones. And because we've created a gradient, it will create a gradient from 100% white to black. So it will go from 100% revealing to 100% concealing. And then all you'll need to do is simply just reduce the opacity until you are happy with the effect. So I think I'll go for something like, probably let's go for 50%. Lovely. So if we hold down the Alt option and click on the eye tool and do the before and after, wow, I am really liking this effect. Brilliant. And there we go, guys. So that is how you can create this matte automotive color grading effect in Photoshop to create a lovely matte tones in the shadows, but keep the reflectiveness of the paintwork intact. Brilliant. And there we go, guys. So that is how you can create this matte automotive color grading effect in Photoshop. And again, this is one of my favorite techniques. So I really hope you guys like it as much as I do. Again, guys, if you want to like, comment and subscribe to my channel, it really, really does help my channel grow. Also, if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss my next video. But until next time, guys, keep creating.